Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a trade- well, no it's not actually. I don't know why I said that. That's a hot start to the video. Anyway, before I rudely interrupted myself by saying something that is completely untrue, we're going to be doing a video where we start off with an AHL team, but we do have some superstars in the roster. And we get to add one of these players every time. I don't know if I want to do two or three wins. I think I want to do three wins to start it off. And maybe we could jump to two if that just is too unrealistic and not going to happen. But I also don't want to do two wins and then end up having all these players on the roster halfway through the season. So yeah, that's the whole rationale behind that. I'm going to start off with three games and we'll see where that takes us. There wasn't really too much logic on what players I took. It's basically if you were 90 overall or higher, then I took you. And I think I took a couple players players from two teams we needed a goalie and defensemen were also scarce so I took Hedman and I also grabbed of course Vasilevsky but he is not here where the heck is he aha found him nope you're getting sent down bud there we go that's more like it our AHL team's gonna be filthy actually I shouldn't say I took anybody who's 90 overall pretty much what I did is take the first player that was 90 overall on that team but there was an exception twice and then Tampa Bay was one of them the second one was Nate Mack, and I also took Kale McCarr because we were kind of scarce for defensemen, as I mentioned before. So here's our NHL lineup. It looks very solid. I think we're going to kill it this year. Oh, a dash five on that final defensive pair. What is going on? What's that? Well, there you have it. This is our team. Let's go try to win three games and see how long it takes. If it's taking way too long, then maybe I'll do two games. The only thing is with this challenge, it's going to snowball. So once we start winning games, it's going to really start to pick up. So before we get started, I want you guys to ask yourselves, are we going to be able to make the playoffs? And do you think that this team will be the Stanley Cup champions, because we have all the power there. We just have to pretty much unlock them. It's like DLC and EA's making us pay for it. Except our payment is W's. I'll sim up to that Arizona game because I can assume that we aren't going to win three games by then, which I believe is a fair assumption. I'm going to stick to the three for now, but wow, we are not off to a great start. There we go. We finally got one. Ooh, okay. We got two. We're two, five, and oh. That's not horrendous. And we have the Coyotes, so this is probably our best chance at getting a W. No, we get shut out. 2-1 loss to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Florida Panthers, a 9-0 L. They absolutely pounded us, but we beat Philly. So that's three wins. Joey Anderson has six points in 11 games. What a legend. I gotta call up McDavid. You have to do it, right? I was thinking about maybe bringing up Vasilevsky, but I think we need some offensive power first. So we're sending down Kloon, and we are calling up Connor. And by the way... I guess you can probably see that, but the salary cap is off, obviously. Anderson's point production is gonna skyrocket now that he's playing with McDusty. It is pretty strategic, too, because I don't know whether I should bring up another forward next to try and really pile it all into one area, or if I should try to spread it out a little bit more and get a goalie. We start off with a hot 5-1 win there against the Buffalo Sabres, a close call against Detroit, and another win against the Anaheim Ducks, all right. So we are one win away from calling up another player, and we're putting up some pretty good fights here, to be honest. 7-1-L to the Sharks, a 3-1-L to the Seattle Kraken. Montreal Canadiens will be a 4-2-W. Who do I call up? I guess I could play Matthews on the wing. He's a sniper. McDavid's obviously a playmaker, so if I put those two together, it's gonna be deadly. Yeah, this seems fair. Sending down Gogolev and bringing up Matthews. Sorry, Nick, you've been demoted to line number two, which actually gets a plus two. And then Matthews, McDavid, and Anderson is going to be a plus two as well. Show me the Ws. We got the Florida Panthers here. That will be a 5-2-L, 4-3-L, and we win against the Panthers that time. So we're at one win currently, and we need to get two more. Columbus will not be it. That's a 4-3 loss and a 2-1 loss to the Anaheim Ducks. Can we beat Pittsburgh? Yes, we can. Oh, that's two wins in a row. This could be a rookie mistake, but I've never done this before. I'm calling up Vasilevsky. Let's see if it makes a difference. Yeah, I'm pretty confident this is going to make a big difference, but we will find out. Our current record is 9-16-3. Vazzy gets a shutout in his first game for a 6-0 W, and then we beat the Flyers there after two L's in a row. Will we be able to beat the Isles and bring up another player? No, we will not. The Ottawa Senators currently have 15 wins, and this is going to be, oh man, another L. Smashville, maybe? Come on. No! I feel like we're coming to an unrecoverable record here, but that's gonna be our third win. We get another player. I think I just have to complete the first line. I have to do it. Okay, McKinnon shoots right. So I'm going to call him up and he can play on the first line right wing. Oh, that's why we had a... I get it now. There's a forward there. 
Yeah, let's change that real quick. It genuinely just clicked in. I was starting to think, and I was like, there's only one time I ever really see a dash five, and that's when someone isn't playing the right position. They're like, wait a minute. They actually want McKinnon to be on the second line, but I'm gonna refuse and make a plus five on the first line there. Anderson, I guess you could play on the right side now. Maybe Hosang could come down and we could bring up a centerman. Do we have, who was here before? Oh. Oh no, not doing that. We got the stud line up here, McDavid, McKinnon, and Matthews, triple M as I like to call it. No, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna call them mmm. All right, that fixes our defensive situation a little bit. Not a lot, but enough. The real question is, will we be able to recover from this record even when we do start to add more players? So we get a win second game and we get a win against the St. Louis Blues there. Can we beat the Minnesota Wild to bring up another player? Okay. That only took four games that time. I'm bringing up Kale. Um, hello? Next move, I am absolutely bringing up a defensive partner for Kale. How long will it take us to win three games this time? We got the Bruins here. That will be a six to four W. Uh-oh, it looks like we are on a big upward trend here. Another W against the Jets. So that only took four games again. There we go. That's more like it. Still not a fan of this dash two down here, but... It is what it is. I knew that the growth was going to be exponential. I didn't think it was going to be this exponential, though. The Boston Bruins will be our first opponent coming back, and we actually take an L first. Oh, okay. We need to win two more games here in order to bring up another player, and will we do those two in a row? No, we will not. The Dallas Stars get the better of us. The Pittsburgh Penguins, 25 wins. We will beat them in overtime. That means another player. This guy knows how to score goals, and he's my boy. So I don't really have a choice here. He's got to come up. The first line it assembled is McDavid, McKinnon and Ovechkin. So now it is MMO instead of mm, a rather large break coming up here. Will we have a dub going into it? No, we will not. 6 2 L. Handed out by the Edmonton Oilers. We come back with a win though. We come back with two wins in a row and now it is time to take on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Matthews is gonna be out there playing for both teams and that's another win. Come on up, Sydney the Kidney. Okay, this is what we get for best lines. It wants Crosby and Mack to play together and then we got McDavid, Matthews, and Ovechkin. A nice win against Carolina there. 2-1 to start it off. Oh my, are we just too good now? I think we are actually too good. Thankfully we lost that one because we would have just won four in a row. I mean, it would have, you know, just sort of translated over anyway so it wouldn't have been that big of a deal but we do already get to bring up another player Huberdeau will be the next addition to the team and I think after that I'm gonna bring up Yossi we're gonna get three more wins it's obviously gonna happen best lines gives us a line of McDavid Matthews and Huberdeau and our second line will be Crosby Ovi and McKinnon can we win three in a row there's a good start four nothing win against the Vancouver Canucks another one there against the Islanders and another one against the Columbus Blue Jackets okay I'm starting to get high hopes for this team I think we're gonna win the Stanley Cup. I am rather curious to see how this would work with four wins. My original assumption was correct. If we did two wins, it would have been far too easy. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep our current trading block. I know I always, there's no point. We're not going to make any moves. Let's just continue saying we got the Dallas Stars here after, or I guess on the trade deadline. Ooh, we lost two games in a row. We did bounce back with a win against the St. Louis Blues, and then we get two more in a row. Time to bring up another forward. I think it's gonna be Brad Marchand. Wow, they actually wanna put Ovi down here on the third line. That's all right, I'm just gonna go with best lines. We'll run it for now. We have Marchand playing with Crosby and McKinnon. Defensively, we already saw what's going on back here, and obviously Vazzy is still gonna be our starting goaltender. I'm a little bit curious to see how the AHL team is doing. Wow. All right, yeah, that's to be expected, I suppose. And they are five and five in their last 10. They are getting worse, which is expected. Panarin has 87 points in 73 games, not bad. There isn't a lot of games left in the season, so we might have a couple more players coming up, but we don't really have too much more to add. So really, it almost worked out perfectly here. We won two games, but we lost the first one against the Carolina Hurricanes and we beat Tampa four to two. You know what? I'm gonna bring up Panarin. Guy's killing it in the AHL. He deserves it. How did that change things up? Panarin's on the first line. He got promoted straight to line number one. And then this is our line two. We have Nate Mack and Ovechkin on our third line. With the season winding down, will we be able to add all of our players? Boston just dished us out a big L. And the Flyers followed up with a L handing out of their own. Toronto Maple Leafs are gonna... Oh my word. The post-trade deadline collapse is even possible with this team. Actually, I'm trying to think here. Did we win this game? Oh no, I think I've lost track. I'm pretty sure we won this game though. So I think we have to win two more. We got Colorado as our next opponent. They're gonna hand, at this rate, we're not even gonna get another player anyway. Arizona, 
could give us another player and they will. There's only two players left. We got Goudreau and Barkov and I believe I might call up Goudreau because I know that he's not on your team anymore. Well, uh, see, this is tricky because you know what? Well, he's on Columbus. I changed my mind. But still, you know what I'm saying? It's like Calgary's getting representation here. Columbus is getting representation. Florida, even though Huberdeau is no longer on Florida, he was a big part of that franchise for several years. But now he's a part of Calgary. All right, I'm calling up Barkov. We do still have four games left though. So I believe there is a legitimate shot that Goudreau gets called up. Oh my word, look at the standings. We might not even, I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't think we're gonna make it. I am pretty positive that we are not making the playoffs. And that is astounding. An L to the Toronto Maple No way! No way! What an absolute joke in a pancake. We had all those good players. And look how the season ends. EA, you gotta fix your game. This is absolutely outrageous. I'm not even upset at the fact that we didn't make the playoffs. Fine. Okay? But what is this? It happens way too often. I'm just gonna sim right past. I'm not gonna go look at anything for the season. The Winnipeg Jets are your Stanley Cup champions. Tampa Bay took the President's Trophy in very convincing fashion. 123 points and 57 Ws. The 21st place Chicago Blackhawks go into the Stanley Cup playoffs somehow, some way, and yet the 12th place New York Islanders do not. McDusty was our leading point guy. He had 70 points in 71 games. Matthews had 66 in 62. We had 47 in 46 from Nate Mack. Crosby did well. Anderson, not so much. He was the guy that carried us at the start though, so I appreciate you a lot. Giberdeau had 19 points in 24 games. Marchand had 16 in 16. He was point a game. Barkov had one point in four games. What was Yossi doing? I get you didn't have a, you know, decent line mate, but zero points in 21 games? Vasil- <laughs> Who? Who is that? Vasilevsky. There we go. Holy crap. That was difficult. Incredible. 923 save percentage. He had a 244 GAA, five shutouts on the year. Chalgren actually played decent. I mean, his record's terrible, but he had a 910. I'm thinking we didn't win any awards, believe it or not. But yeah, I, that's not our McDavid, I'll tell you that for free. I'm just looking for our logo, and I doubt I'm gonna see it. Nope, nothing for us in the hardware department. Here is the playoff tree if anybody wanted to see it. So I thought that was kind of cool. I thought it was interesting. I sort of just came up with it on the spot, and it turned out to be a fun one. Somehow we went on bigger winning streaks when we had less good players which is just absolutely nonsensical to me, but that's neither here nor there. Well, anyways, if you have other video ideas, go ahead, leave them in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys for tuning into these videos, and I just hope that I am entertaining you with them. I will be seeing you soon.